But please, please, if you have questions, maybe you have some questions for a start, Michael. You always have questions. So. No, you don't? You bring in the microphone. But <laughs> Uh, if you have something about regarding Riksteatern? Well, I, I Magnus, the thing I, I'd like to start with the question is, doesn't an audience pay for a live, or, uh, a live performance? Do you think this will affect the, f uh, the fees that, you know, when we come to see an opera, you're paying for the live performance, and is it going to make your ticket cheaper because it's not strictly live, but it is sort of? Has that been something that you thought about? It's the, I mean, it's already quite cheap to watch uh, performance. I mean, the state, the uh, tax money has already paid for our orchestras. They have paid for our singers, and they paid for Riksteatern. So I think we should pay for this in the ordinary budget, as we have. And, uh, but of course, uh, they, they are willing to pay quite a lot for, to see the Met performances, and maybe this will, of course, maybe be higher ticket uh, prices. Uh, it can be, but opera is there. But uh, you know, even though in Sweden to see a big production like this is about 300 seconds, it's nearly the same, maybe 350 rands. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much for coming and telling us about this. Um, it would make sense financially if you, your technical costs can then uh, obviously be less than bringing through a 40, 50 piece orchestra than you've then you've conquered the financial uh, challenges yeah. with bringing a large-scale opera to smaller venues. My concern is more, uh, to, if you could talk a bit about the singer's experience with this. I, I would think that the singers, when they are in a live performance, it's integral that the, yeah. that the musicians and the singers are both playing off each other. So I, I'd be curious to know your thoughts on the effect on the singer's performance when they don't have that element present. As they say, after the test we've done, they say it's not really a big difference because I have the conductor here and I can also, when we stop and you rehearse, you have a good connection and you can speak. But of course you need also the, the conductor to say, who am I speaking to for the moment? Uh, and so you need to have a good camera. Of course it takes a little time, uh, but the experience, they say that because they were overwhelmed in one way, said because it was so much easier so much better uh, sound that they expected and, and so much easier. So they were very keen on that. So we were a little afraid because you, they're young students uh, to come and do this. They have so many difficulties with the parts and the piece and the young, etc. But they were so keen on doing this uh, and, and they, they did it so well. And I thought it was really funny to do something new and experience that. Mm. Please, yes. Um, going off your answer to that question, would you ever have uh, an incidence where you had the orchestra performing at one venue, the singers performing at another venue, having a cross feed and supplying the same concert to two audiences at the same time? No, we have not done that yet. Uh, as I told you, we, we, it's, it, it is a possible, but we have not done that. So what we will do now in April is that we do just one, we, have the audi we will have of course an audience, but uh, just looking at the the orchestra, but then you need a very good equipment also in the orchestra hall the venue. So we will start that we have the audience with the ensemble and the orchestra, so that's a start. But you can do both, absolutely. But then you need a very, very good production on screen for, for uh, filming the, the ensemble. Please. Yes, here's one more. Now I understand why the microphones was uh, a little problem with the microphones and swept the, during the performance Saturday. It's very hot here, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the, the head mics for, for the uh, performers, I presume, are for communication, are they, yeah. rather than for projection in the, in the venue? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear. Can you please say uh, the, the, the head mics, yeah. which the performers use, yeah. uh, they are for communication with no, no, the conductor, no. are they all for projection in the venue? That's a very good question. Uh, sometimes you don't need that in the auditorium. And as better as you know, the acoustic uh, can help us, and it's, uh, then you don't need to. But of course, you have to mix the, the orchestra sound that are artificial with the sound of, 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 a, of a singer. 
but of course in a small venue you will hear them. But so that's the tricky thing to make it, uh, what do you say, a as a whole uh, sound picture. So that will, I think it will change wherever you go. You have to mix and, and of course it takes time. If you tour, you can't just go in. You need to find the right solution and you have need to have extra time. Because what we now expect, we will do this uh, in April and next year, hopefully we will do a longer tour uh, and then we'll find out what do you need for the different venues and what do you need to don't make the time too long to set it all up and, and make it, because it's expensive to have a day just for technique. You need to have it ongoing. Mm. Thank you. Something more? Yeah, just one more. Sorry, I have a couple of questions. Yeah. Um, so now, if you're doing this uh, with an operatic performance and you've got the singers in a separate venue, for instance, at the university, what do you do then with the lack of props, set, costumes, performance that is so integral to part of the theater experience of an opera? I don't understand. Because the singers, as they will so be here on the stage with the props and everything. With the props and everything, yeah. and it's just. Oh, it's okay. just normal. You okay. don't, it's not only the orchestra here. Okay. They will be. So they, the set and everything will be there. Okay. And yeah, then so we will tour with the set and ensemble, but orchestra is the only thing that we bring from the fiber. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, sorry, my second question was so, for instance, in South Africa, we don't get a lot of government funding. Yeah. or this kind of thing. Cost-wise, without government funding, would you say that having the fiber connection with the, with the technicians and the equipment equates to the same as having a 40-person touring company, or would you say it is more expensive to do it the technical for way? For the moment, it's more expensive because we have spent, so I think this project for us, only with technique and everything, building it all up, all the tests we need to do, yeah. we, I think we'll, we'll spend a million in two years uh, just for that, but but then we got extra money from the state. Yeah. But in the future, you 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 have to to uh, uh, make that sum, of course, much much lower. But to bring an orchestra on tour, I mean, uh, 40 people with you know in Sweden they all in single rooms and they have the per diem, etc., etc., mm -hmm. and also the buses and transportation. Mm -hmm. So of course we need to to uh, make a much, much, much lower cost with, it, with this technique. Yeah, obviously then, so once you've got the equipment yeah. and yeah. everything set up and you've got that in your stocks, then yeah. the price of running it yes. would be a lot. Yeah, so this is an in okay. investment for the moment. But our, I mean, as a Riksteater, it's a part of our development. What I didn't talk about, about Riksteater, today we do a quite a lot of development. We work together with universities also in art, but also in technique and audience building. So we do so much of, of research as well. So we use some of our money. The state wants us to use that. And this year we got five more million just to do these things and distribute new operas. So that, of course, I know, to come here from Sweden and say, oh, it's money. they just give us the money. But of course, that's why I'm so keen on, if we now have the technique and we know how to do it, I'm interested in more opera for more people wherever. So, of course, that's, I think, also important for us. If we have this technique now, please use it. It's not only for Riksteatern. And we can maybe develop it together uh, with different institutions and, and for the future. Absolutely. Uh, and I know, I mean, the, the interest of opera here and all the singers and everywhere, if this can increase and, and make it possible to tour and use the orchestras and maybe just for one city. I mean, from Cape Town to one city and you can tour and you do it every year and just develop that. And then you just need to, to negotiate one fiber line. And, and so, so I think it's, you need to find your own way. But if you want to go further, please call us. Um, my question, you touched about it a little bit already, but in my opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, the um, opera audience is a little bit older. Do you think they are ready for these new technical <laughs> opportunities, or is it your intent? They will not notice. <laughs> no? Uh, <laughs> or is it oh, it was, was this lovely orchestra. <laughs> it was not there. Oh, wasn't it? 
No, sorry, old people. Of course they like this. Yeah. They want opera. They, they, they run the hell off to, to see the Metropolitan. It's, and it's live, you know. So it's, and it also mm. brings the youngsters. Okay. Uh, I think so. That what we have seen, that uh, it has really increased. And the problem, that though, that we have in Sweden is that if you go to the Royal Opera and, and the big operas, it's too expensive also for young people in, 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 in Sweden. And maybe, hopefully, this can be, if we use the money right, we can spread opera also for young people. And technology in some way, because it will look a little more fancy and it, the, the technique and it might be a good experience for them to see, but also to go to live. Magnus, um, is Rix Theater pioneering this in Europe? Or have you been able to learn from Covent Garden or perhaps the Met or other organizations who are experimenting with similar new techniques? I don't think so. As I said, it's the Bregens. They, they've done it and, and, uh, because they had the orchestra. Uh, but but uh, when I spoke to Birgitta Svendén, the artistic director of the Royal Opera, she said, no, I have not heard about this. But of course in Europe now, what all opera houses do is that they film the productions and they broadcasting it like the Metropolitan. And the, uh, that's good because the another issue, if you do it like this, is the performing, uh, performing uh, rights for the for the for the uh, ensemble. Uh, and opera is, you know, old, uh, and you you don't need to to pay that much. But of course, for the ensemble. But it, when it comes to modern work, and then it's quite tricky when you broadcast one way because of the performing arts. So our issue now in Sweden is that uh, we need to solve the performing rights for the ensemble and, and also for the authors and all that. Uh, and that's uh, because today is very, ex very expensive. But this will not uh, be a problem when you do it live in one place. But the, 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 the thing is when you start broadcasting to different places at the same time as Metropolitan, then the uh, singers come say, well, it's not only one, two thousand is twenty thousand. I want more money for that. But I think the Metropolitan has done a very, they are so well paid that they don't care. But, <laughs> but, uh, but that's, that's the tricky thing for us to, to negotiate. So now we are in the middle of the negotiation with the union uh, to say if you would like to us to do this more, we need to find a better way of, of paying. And this is, the, this is really the future that we need to spread what we already have paid so much for with tax money, that we need to spread it more and, and reach out more. And we do that with new techniques. But of course, the live thing is uh, you need to keep that. So what we say, this is an alternative of the live performance. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, Magnus, it seems that if this is successful, that it's very good news for audiences. It's very good news for opera singers. It sounds like it might be bad news for orchestras. <laughs> because if you have got one concert hall yeah. with one orchestra with all the technical stuff yeah. set up, what does that mean for the future mm. of regional, smaller touring mm. orchestras? Mm. As I say, what we will now will do is that we will do this for three years now. Now we use the, the orchestra in Jönköping, next year hopefully in Malmö in southern and then we would use uh, different orchestras of course when you tour you can do 10 performance with this orchestra and you tour around this orchestra not too far away and then you can change orchestra and tour another region as i hear from the orchestra now in in Jönköping is that they say we need because we are struggling with the classical you know orchestra that are stuck in this concert hall and they don't they, they can't afford touring anymore and they're not good venues and they would like to bring, because we have built all these fancy, fancy venues around Sweden and they would like to stay there. But the, then the politicians say, you need to tour more, you need to do new things and new uh, performances. So they said, this is an, a good opportunity for us to do some more. But still, of course, they want to tour, but then they can do it sometimes. Uh, but I think they are very, they, they think it's a very good idea, absolutely. Yes. So, Magnus, if there are no, any more questions, fascinating Thank discussion. Thank you for good questions. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's so many things that you need to try and see 
what will happen and what this, does it mean. But for us, that has not toured opera for so many years in big scale. I think it really will matter and, and uh, develop. I think. So thank you so much, Magnus, for your very stimulating presentation.